Hello everyone, welcome. Thank you for taking time to check out this video. My name is Sandra Nelson. I'm the artist of this painting. Uh, the meaning of the painting is You Are the Waters, which I will touch on in a few moments. So I'm recording this down at the land where the Healing Bridges Festival is going to take place. It's an area in County Cavan called uh, Dramani. And um, it's been named Dramani Spirit here. This is actually a land where there's different gatherings of people in the community, in the spiritual community, in the wider local community as well. And it's beside a very, very special lake. Just behind the painting is Loch Uther. And we also have um, Dramani Loch, um, which is just behind the, the camera here. I'm sitting in the middle of a really large stone circle, which is um, a modern stone circle, but it's also in honor of um, of the land and also our ancestors on the land. So I'm crouched down on the soil here and I'm going to just tell you a little bit about the painting. So we met um, in January to have one of our first gatherings to discuss Healing Bridges and what the energy was around Healing Bridges and whether it was going to happen or not. And one of the things that came through in the vision that I had was um, an etheric pool of water. So it was water, but it was almost like spirit water. And um, out of the etheric pool of water, there was like this like violet flame. And the violet flame was rising up and there was three swans which came together. And one of the swans rose up and became a woman. And this woman had feathers on her. And she made this really beautiful high pitched sound with her voice. When she opened her mouth, there was this this really really high toning came through and it amplified all the way through all the waters because we're in a catchment area here which is the geo park in county cavan and it's also an area where there's a huge collection of water and lakes and of course Loch Uther, Loch Uther is very famous in irish history but this woman she rose up out of the essence of a swan and there was this purple violet flame, this etheric flame that she was carrying. There were symbols that came in, the birds, the swans, uh, the winged ones. And I had this vision of her sound and the toning that she made was like a prayer from the ancient Tuatadan. It was like a prayer from another place. And it was a prayer from a, place, a higher place. Uh, There's lots of gold energy as well in the dream and her toning reverberated all the way through the waters and through the land and that the prayer to be held in the heart was a prayer of peace, of unity and when we heal our bridges, when we actually work on healing our ancestors, our lineage, the lineage of our clans, of our families and we also are putting in place a prayer for peace, for unity, for love, for our descendants, for the future generation to be connected very very deeply to the earth and the richness of the mother energy in the earth. Now around about the time that the painting um, that I was contemplating the vision of the painting there was lots of other threads of visions and journeys which started to weave together and I'm going to just briefly touch on them. So when I had the vision of the three swans one became a woman also who was there in a liminal space were grandmothers and these were women that were from different places, different countries. I'm filming this in Ireland. And we have a really rich tapestry and a, 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 a really rich, um, vibrant community, which has helped to revive the Irish myths and legends and stories and, uh, and really work uh, on our magical uh, prayers through our connection with mythology and with the Irish stories and the landscape of the land and sacred sites. And in the dream, there was lots of people who had bird masks and costumes and there were people who were, who were cloaked and were carrying vessels of water. And there was lots of singing and dancing and celebration. And while we were in this space here in Dramani, on the land, in the forest, which is just behind me over this direction, there was this real sense of um, the birds and the landscape interacting. We had swans fly overhead. We could hear their wings. We could hear them, you know, call and speak. We could hear the birds. There was birds coming into the forest when we were um, all sitting 
in circle at the fire with her eyes closed allowing the vision to come forth so what i have here is a series of different dreaming that i've brought together because at around about the same time that the star being that was coming through it really represents sovereignty as far as i'm concerned and she's really um, guiding us to look into our sovereignty and into that question of sovereignty and into that question of how we are connected to the land um, as guardians how we belong to the land or the land belongs to us or what is belonging what is sovereignty and ask questions about who we are so there is um, lots of different indigenous energy came in then in a series of dreamings which I pulled together in the one painting um, the message being from all of them that you are the waters because waters are transformational so what we have here is we have um, masculine uh, shamans who are multi-dimensional so they're actually holding a prayer at different times in the history of the world and the prayer is peace and unity the birthing of a consciousness and I feel that Ireland is that birth pool of that consciousness um, at the moment for the planet and we really need that to, to maintain that connection with earth and maintain that connection with good food good medicine um, and our health and our vitality so we have these uh, masculine bird shamans and then they're holding a space they're all singing and dreaming and they're they're working on their prayers and they're holding space for the grandmothers to come through and I feel that this is an essence of a primordial grandmother energy which exists on the planet and uh, which shows up in different times in history through other cultures through our own culture we would refer to the grandmother energy as the Kalyak which is just down the road here um, in Old Castle uh, Loch Crew. so we have the grandmothers and here we had white buffalo woman she came through in dreams really strong and she's come through in dreams and before over the past decade for me we also have a grandmother who came in from the Amazon. We have the um, hummingbird. We have um, a shaman who came through and an energy that came through to represent the Kalyak. So we have the hare. We also have a really significant energy that came through all these spaces as I was painting. They just kind of emerged out of the darkness of the blue on the canvas and they just wanted their face to look the way it is. And it's a symbolism of the grandmother energy from different spaces and places but this lady came through really really strong and there was a series of different dreams that happened with this lady represents the aboriginal grandmothers and there's a dragonfly there are actually three dogs and there's um there's a whale and part of that is a story which actually is connected to aboriginal culture and i don't feel that i have the right to actually speak about that lore um and i won't speak about it in this video with the painting but i may um in the future get someone who is off the wheel dreaming aboriginal uh, lineage to speak about it but i feel my role has been with the grandmothers that have um, their essence of which I feel is communicating with me as a guide through dreams and through daydreams is to be able to allow these paintings to be sort of birthed and held here in this space for the Healing Bridges Festival. There will be eight paintings in total, each one of the paintings, there will be a grandmother in each painting and each painting will represent a direction and a song line, a ley line and um, of course there will be colours associated with each painting. I hope that if you feel drawn to come and sit in the peace of, of the paintings, that something special may happen for you in terms of your own journey, your own healing and your understanding um, and curiosity of um, allowing yourself to travel beyond what you see here in this physical world and really enter a liminal space of prayer where you can receive wisdom and knowledge and a connection with that primordial grandmother energy which exists in the world in the earth and which is spoken about in stories and this this what i'm really sharing with you is kind of like a modern day story and my own gnosis and my own version of how um i interact with visions with dreaming and uh with the storytelling and with uh when we journey into in prayer into liminal spaces that we can retrieve information from those spaces 
and we can have contact um, with higher energies um, and higher guides. And in this case, for me in my life at this moment, it's the grandmothers. The grandmothers are coming through very strong to say that something really, really special in terms of the consciousness, um, both in our own lands, the healing in our own lands. Uh, there's a there's a birthing that Ireland is a birthplace uh, for something that is happening. The meaning of the painting, you are the waters. Water is an amplifier. We know that there's been previous studies that we can hold a container of water, a bottle of water. We can pray over water. We can actually infuse the water with the essence of our intention, with our prayers. And that water can be very healing for us. We also know both through pagan stories, through our own mythology um, about goddesses who carry an essence of the water. A lot of rivers in Ireland were named after goddesses. The goddess which flows into Phil uh, Loch Uther is actually the goddess Erin. And we know that in various indigenous uh, cultures, water is spoken of. Water is a, a very, very important conduit for the healing prayers that are happening at the moment. And by us embracing the notion that we are the waters, we are the transformative space and um, and it's it's wonderful that we can all enter into that in a safe place um, here at the festival, opening up prayer for the healing of our bridges in our own clan. One of the things I said I would talk about very briefly and I wouldn't go into it in a lot of detail. I was speaking um, uh, with one of the team members here about it is that how each one of the core team members that have helped to pull the Healing Bridges Festival together, we have really gone through a walk of fire and through the darkest hours. We're going through challenges in our own health, challenges in our lives in terms of our children, challenges in our life in terms of where we live, um, our careers, in terms of our beloved ones, our family, our ancestors, our parents, grief, the loss of loved ones. And so we've kind of been going through an awful lot of what we feel is being held in the collective. Moving into sovereignty, moving into the prayers of peace, of unity, that we are the waters, we can really hold a space for, uh, for energy, for transformation. There's a feeling of a really big step for the consciousness in Ireland to move towards sovereignty. There's a feeling that um, there will be the birthing of a new masculine energy which is actually the grandmother energy is the grandmothers are the the midwives for this energy to be birthed in and there are different people who have had similar information come through over over these months in 2022 this first uh, eight months or so of of the 2022 and i think that you will either hear something in this recording and feel drawn to be here and feel that you need to be here. And if you do, um, it would be lovely to, for you to come into this community where there is an embrace of kindness, of peace, of unity. And also, if you're not able to come for whatever commitments or reasons, that that energy will be available um, to people um, because it will be it will be carried in prayer and that of course prayer is always accessible when we wish to um, accept it and we, al we allow ourselves to be open in our heart to prayer. I didn't think that I would talk for as long in this video. I hope it has explained a little bit. Um, I will need to ask permission about the indigenous uh, wheel dreaming story of the rainbow serpent and I feel that I would really like to invite um, someone who actually is connected to that wheel dreaming to, to speak further about the painting um, in terms of what's in the our Aboriginal lore and how it's connected in with this um, because it's really important to respect uh, other uh, every culture uh, and that we, we can come together to learn and to share but we also have our own lore here in Ireland um, and our own mythology and our own stories. So 
over the next week or two a few weeks i will have another video which i will share hopefully with someone who's of the aboriginal uh, lineage and the wheel dream who will share what the rainbow serpent means and what the wheel dreaming is about for me it's that the grandmothers have brought the aboriginal grandmother has been in contact with me and has brought the wheel song uh, to me in terms of sound energy through my dreams through my daydreams and through my night dreams um, that I can actually hear uh, the songs and the singing of wheels and obviously there also comes other information with that long video didn't mean it to be that long please check out the links below for healing bridges festival it's happening at the end of august 2022 and i really appreciate that you have taken time to um listen to this in the first place blessings and love from dramani spirit hope to see you at the festival and if not um kindness peace unity blessings of the knowledge deeply ingrained within your soul essence of sovereignty.